We're going to show you how the COVID-19 self-testing kit works. You'll need these. A paper tissue. The tube with a buffer solution. The dropper tip. The test cassette. The sterile nasal swab. That's the stick for the nose. A timer or a phone with stopwatch. And, if available, a holder for the tube, a clothes peg, or a stand to put the tube in. You should perform the self-test twice a week, in the morning, at home. The test materials should be at room temperature, between 15 and 30 degrees Celsius. Step 1. Thoroughly wash your hands before starting. Then blow your nose. Step 2. Preparation. Remove the foil from the tube and place the tube in a holder. The buffer solution is in the tube. Step 3. Collect the sample. Open the swab packaging at the marked place and remove the nasal swab. Tilt the head slightly back. Then insert the absorbent tip of the swab about 2 cm deep in the front part of the first nostril and rotate 4 times, i.e. for 15 seconds, against the wall of the nose. Now repeat the process in the other nostril. If you are being tested by someone else or testing someone else, still turn the nasal swab four times for 15 seconds in each nostril. Step four, put the sample in the buffer solution. Insert the swab into the prepared tube. Squeeze the bottom of the tube together and turn the swab at least 10 times. Then keep the tube squeezed together and slowly draw out the swab. Lay the swab on the tissue. Step 5. Fix the dropper tip firmly on the tube and set aside. Step 6. Open the test cassette and place it on a clean surface. If the desiccant in the small bag is yellow, the test cassette can be used. The small bag will be disposed of later. Invert the tube. Hold it with the dropper tip vertically downwards. Then drip four drops into the indentation while gently squeezing the tube. Step 7. Start the timer. The result can be read off after 15 minutes. After more than 30 minutes, the result is invalid. If a line appears only opposite C, the result is negative. No virus was detected. In this case, the child may attend school or kindergarten. If a line appears opposite C and another line opposite T, the result is positive and virus was detected. Even a pale line counts as a line. If a pupil has a positive test result, the school must be informed at once. A follow-up PCR test must then be done at one of the central testing centres. Until the result of the PCR test is available, the child must stay at home. If a member of school or kindergarten staff tests positive, they must immediately inform their employer and also do a follow-up PCR test. If a line appears only opposite T, or if no line appears at all, the result is invalid. If this happens, check the procedure again and repeat the test with a new testing kit. Step 8. Properly packaged up, the used testing materials may be safely disposed of within household refuse. 
More information, including about testing centers, can be obtained at www.einfach-testen.berlin.